Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Diamond Danae. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy for you guys to be here today. Today's video I felt called to make. Um, it's a video about how to be prepared for your blessing, basically. So one morning I was writing in my journal and the words just came to me. It's coming be prepared and I'm like what does that mean and then like seven seven tips came to my mind so I decided to do this video of how to be more prepared for when your blessing comes basically for when whatever you pray for gets to you like how can you be more prepared for it and I came up with seven things that you can do to be more prepared for when your blessing comes so if you would like to hear what those seven things are please stay tuned um for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you end up loving this video please give it a like and let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments down below I'm all about peace positivity um anything has to do with beauty health mental um self-care i'm all about i just love spreading joy happiness healing because i'm in the process of all of that right now so i just love spreading the knowledge that i'm learning to others to help them along their journey so how can you be more prepared to bring in that blessing that you ask god for so there were seven things that came to mind that had to do with this video so in this video today i'm going to talk about those seven things that came to my mind when being prepared for the blessing that you're about to receive so the first thing is confidence i can say that i'm not a person that was super confident in the beginning um just because of society pressures and just just your external factors so like Whatever you're around is what you start to become, what you start to think, whatever you're seeing on TV, like you watching these reality shows or you're on Instagram and you see the look and you like, you know, you start to just judge yourself and you start to um, apply that to your life. And that's definitely something you should not do. Um, you are your own person you are unique in your own ways everybody is beautiful so the sooner you learn to be confident the sooner you will be prepared for that blessing that's coming if you cannot handle what people say about you or what they feel about you like if you can't handle judgment from people then you aren't going to be able to handle the success that you pray for you know what i'm saying like I'm gonna use my situation for example so I pray for more exposure when it comes to my business I want I want to be known in the hair industry and if I want that then that's gonna come along with a lot of social media followers it's gonna come along with a lot of clientele just it's gonna come along with exposure and I'm not even that type of person like I do not like being in the spotlight I don't like attention being on me but if I want that certain career field, then that's what's gonna happen. And I gotta be confident. I gotta be, I gotta have my head high. I can't be scared of what people gonna say or how, if people looking at me or I can't be afraid to post my work or post my business or post my pictures that I like to post. Like I have to be confident in myself, 100% confident in myself. I have to be confident in my flaws. I have to be confident in my imperfections. I have to be confident in it so that I can receive that blessing that God wants to bless me with. Cause it won't work if I'm worried about what everybody gonna say. It just won't work if I don't have that confidence. So that's number one, definitely have confidence in yourself and your work and the things that you wanna achieve. Number two is discernment. Discernment is so important. Discernment is just knowing whether to walk away or stay in a situation um, right from wrong. Discernment is knowing if something is for you or not for you. Um, it's basically like your intuition going with your gut. And a lot of people don't follow their gut feeling because they don't trust in their decisions. But if you wanna make it to the top, 
then you have to believe in yourself you got to go with that gut feeling if you feel like it's not right then it's not right if you feel like it's for you then it's for you and you should use your intuition and go with it so discernment is top that's why it's number two because it's very important to have if you want that blessing that you've been asking for if god puts you in a situation um that's for you like he could you could ask for a specific thing but if you're afraid of it or if you don't use your intuition well or if you're not confident in your decisions then you won't be able to make the correct choice like you'll be hesitant to choose the right decision but you'll know that it's the right decision but you won't believe in yourself so you won't choose that decision so definitely discernment is important to have and um definitely discernment is important to have when you are preparing for your blessing to come in. Number three is gratitude. And gratitude is another big one. If you're not thankful for what you have already, why would you be blessed with something better? Or why would you be blessed with what you asked for? Like, you have to show gratitude. You have to show God that you are thankful for what you already have. You can't think about what you want, what you're going to have. You have to be thankful for the now, like the small things too, like waking up. Um, a lot of things that people take for granted, you have to be grateful for. Waking up, your food, your the, your family, your safety. Um, when you feel like things aren't going the pace that you want them to go, you it's hard and you start getting down on yourself and you start losing hope and it's hard to be grateful for what you do have because you start focusing on the things that you want instead of what you do have at the moment so for example um i got in a situation where i had to move back in with my mom and my siblings so i find myself complaining a lot about like oh, i'm not used to this i'm used to my own space i'm used to doing things when i want or just just having my own stuff but i'm not being grateful that i have somewhere to sleep i have a place to be in like i have a roof over my head and a lot of people don't have that a lot of people aren't fortunate enough to have that like so you got to be grateful for what you do have number four is to be grounded this is very important and I have a hard time with it but I'm working on it so as long as you're working on it then it's okay so being grounded is basically like finding a way to stay centered when things get overwhelming so my my thing I do when things get overwhelming I meditate meditation keeps me grounded being outside in nature keeps me grounded um, it's just you have to find something to take the anxiety away because you're gonna have problems you're gonna have issues life is not gonna be a straight narrow path like it's gonna be twists and turns it's gonna be um unexpected it's gonna be it's just it's not gonna be all peaches and cream so you have to find a way to deal with it you have to find something that keeps you centered and grounded a way to deal with it so a good a good thing i do is meditation i love meditating um I do it in the morning, sometimes I do it at night. 10 minutes minimum, however long you feel like you need to do it, but definitely do it. It helps you quiet your mind, it helps you get your thoughts together. It helps you eliminate um, any negative thoughts and, and, and gain positive thinking. Um, it just gets rid of my anxiety in the moment whenever I feel overwhelmed. So definitely a way to prepare for your blessing is to be grounded because with that blessing is going to come some unexpected outcomes that you just weren't prepared for so you have to find a way to work through it number five is you have to know how to manage your money you cannot pray to god for a billion dollars but you can't even manage 500 dollars you have in your bank account right now and i'm not judging you I'm not fussing at you because I am that. Like, that is me. I am she. I have a hard time managing my money. I will spend money like it's nothing. Like, it's bad. So, you shouldn't have the mindset that, like, oh, I got to hold on to my money. I got to hold on to my money. Because when you get into that mindset is when you are expecting you to not get money back. 
you know to bring money back in so yes but when you spend you have to spend wisely you have to spend graciously you have to spend with gratitude but you also have to manage your money well so um some things i did was just research like i just looked on youtube at ways to budget ways to not spend a lot of money like it's so many tools and resources out here online that you can use books that'll help you with how to manage your money so that's the thing i did um i can't exactly remember the name of it or the person who made it but i got i know you guys know about it it's like the envelope system so i'll take out the money out of my bank that i need like i'll make a budget for the month of all my expenses or whatever and i'll put each expense on an envelope and i'll write you know each envelope what that expense is and i'll take out the exact money and i'll put it in that envelope and then like I have one for like extra spending for the week like if I want to go get my nails done if I want to go out to eat I'll have a budget for it so I know that I'm managing my money well number six is to surrender number six is surrendering and this is the one I have a hard time with as well like relinquishing control is so hard i understand it's so hard it's so hard for me to give control um it's so hard to, for me to let go basically so surrendering is just letting go and putting things into god's hands and letting them go how they're supposed to go because ultimately what's meant for you is already meant for you like no matter no matter what it's your birthright so in order to be prepared for it in order to bring that blessing in quicker you have to surrender control you have to stop trying to control every situation because that's only pushing your blessing further away from you so let's see a way that i just gotta tell myself that i cannot control situations and it's like when you stop controlling situations it happens how you like it happens how it's supposed to happen and then you see it's just over time you see that when you let go of control is when things start happening for you so a good way to surrender is just keep telling yourself like i cannot control outcomes it's in god's hands i say the best for last number seven the last tip is to have faith basically and like having faith i feel is like sums up all of these seven tips having faith is just believing in god believing in the higher power believing in whoever you believe in the universe high power holy spirit just believing that god will see you through that it's already meant for you believing in your um outcome believing in your business believing in your goal believing in your plan and just letting go of it just giving it to god and having faith that everything you want will come into fruition and that's just having faith it's that simple it's hard actually but it's that simple it's just believing in your plan sticking to it and doing the work putting in the work and just believing in your plan I think just through my journey those are the seven things that i found help when you are praying for a specific goal or circumstance or praying over your business or praying for success those are the seven things that have helped me bring in more success or have helped me bring in my blessing those seven things confidence discernment gratitude being grounded managing your money well surrendering and having faith these are the seven tips that i've used personally and that i've learned to use through my journey of um gaining success and they have tremendously helped me big time it's still a working process because it's not easy like we're going through life trying to learn new things and unlearn things that we have spent our whole life being told or seeing or learning so it's pretty hard to just all of a sudden do these things and just keep living by it like you have to learn it you have to keep growing it's a process so definitely when you put these seven tips in place it'll help bring you closer to your blessing it helped me i know it'll help you is this is why i felt called to make this video um i hope 
it was helpful if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments and i will definitely start recording more content like this um thank you for tuning in if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't hit that subscribe button already please hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in another video bye have a great day